I'm going to show you how you can build a product quiz application for Shopify. I'm going to use Gadget and Shopify theme app extensions to create a quiz app and embed it in a Shopify storefront. You can then customize this quiz to suit your own needs. Let's get started. Okay, I am going to get started building a product quiz app now. I'm not going to build this app from scratch. Gadget actually has a product quiz app template I'm going to use. And that'll be my first step here. Now to get to the link where you can actually fork the template, you can go into our docs, docs.gadget.dev. And if you go to the getting started section under tutorials, Shopify and product quiz, step one is fork product quiz app, which gives you this blue fork on gadget button. So that's where I'm gonna start. As a side note, you can also go through the Gadget homepage, gadget.dev, resources, templates, and we have a whole bunch of te forkable templates here you can select, including this product quiz. There's this blue fork template button, which forks the exact same app. So I'm going to start here in our docs, click fork on Gadget, and I'll start by giving my app a domain. I'll just call it Riley's Quiz and get started. Like every Gadget app, when I fork templates, I get my Postgres database, Node.js backend, and React frontend powered by Vite, all serverless. Unlike when I'm creating a brand new gadget app, you can see I already have data models defined. I am gonna have my backend action code, as well as some frontend code already included, and everything's gonna be written with gadgets best practices. So the first thing I do need to do is connect to Shopify. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Click connect to Shopify. And I do need to connect through the partner's dashboard. I'm going to use a theme app extension to actually place my quiz in the storefront. So because I need that app extension, I need to go through the partner's dashboard. So I'll go over to my partner's dashboard, click on apps. I'm going to click create app and create an app manually. And once again, I'll just call this Riley's Quiz. And now I'm gonna copy my client ID in secret back to my Gadget app. And press Connect. You'll notice that I haven't actually selected any Shopify scopes or data models yet. That's because with this app template, everything I need has already been pre-selected. I can edit the connection if I want to come back to my app later and make changes. However, I don't need to go through that step now. So I just need to copy my app URL and redirection URLs back to my partner's app. Go to the app setup page. And press save. So my app is now ready to be installed on one of my development stores. So I'll go back to the overview tab, select a store to test on, and I will select the distinguished canine demo store. New little install app overview page. So you'll notice I haven't written a line of code yet. No OAuth code. You'll never need to write a line of OAuth code when you're working with Gadget. So I can just go ahead and install right away. And this will install my app on this store and I can start testing it out. So that's fantastic. So this is actually my embedded admin app. I can go ahead and create a new quiz right away. One thing I do want to point out when you're working with this app template, because there is custom backend actions already written for you. If I go into the Shopify shop install action, we already have code that's going to run a sync automatically. So if I go into my Shopify product data page, all of my product data, not a lot of uh, products in this sample store, but it's already been synced to my database. So that is fantastic. That means I can just start building my quiz right away. So I'll go back to my admin. I will create a new quiz and I will start filling out the fields. So let's give my quiz a name. Uh, we'll call this, oh, which sweater is best for my dog? And the Quiz description is, uh, you know, take this quiz to find some sweater options for your best friend. And now I can fill out questions and answers. So question one can be, 
Uh, is your dog long? Give two answers here, yes, no. And for each answer, I can select a product to recommend. So I can go, yes, the party animal, that's good for long dogs. No, autumn breeze is a better choice. Go ahead and add another question. This can be like, does your dog like to get into the festive spirit? We can go yes, we can go no. Santa's little helper, so it's a little Santa suit for your dog. Otherwise, a more refined the gentleman, a nice Argyle pattern. So I'm happy with this quiz. If you are building a different quiz that doesn't have to do with dog sweaters, you can add as many questions and answers as you want. Click and create quiz here at the bottom. We'll save my quiz. You can see there it is. I can always edit or delete my quiz. And if I go check in my gadget database, I can see my quiz has been created. There are also questions saved. The answers are going to be saved. So everything has been handled for me automatically. That's fantastic. If we're going through the tutorial, that is steps one through three. The last thing we need to do is actually embed our quiz in a storefront. And I'm gonna use theme app extensions to do this. So theme app extensions only work if a theme is on online store version 2.0. If they're not, there are also instructions for embedding your quiz directly into Liquid, but you need to copy and paste a bunch of files. Uh, merchants will need to copy paste a bunch of files. If I do go here to my quiz admin, click on install, you can select a theme and there are instructions for theme point two, uh, 2.0. Uh, it's just gonna be a little video. If you have a 1.0 theme, there's gonna be written instructions for copying and pasting code files that merchants can use to actually set the app up themselves. So let's go through this. I do need to clone a Shopify CLI app that has the theme app extension already set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link, copy the URL, and then get clone Shopify app theme extension. So there we go, that was pretty quick. Can change directories into the app. I need to install the dependencies, so I'm just going to run yarn. While this is actually installing, I can open this up in VS Code. So there's one change I need to make to my theme app extension. You'll see this is just a normal Shopify CLI app. Uh, it's an extension only app, so there's no Remix template. You don't want Remix because everything else is built in Gadget, your, your front end and back end and such. So I just need to open the extensions folder. There's the theme extension. Looks like a theme extension if you're familiar with them. There's the Tomo file up top. In assets, there's productquiz.js. So this is actually running all of the logic. It's making the request to your Gadget backend through this API client. And in blocks, there's quiz page .liquid. This is what shoppers are actually going to see. We need to make one change on this page, and this is getting our project script tag so that our API client is properly installed. So if I do flip back to my app, if I go through my API docs, and then I'm actually just gonna flip back to the guides. And the reason I'm doing that is so that my application is selected in context with my docs. So if I go getting started tutorials, Shopify product quiz, theme app extension, I can actually just copy this direct script tag. It already has the development uh, domain ready for me to go. So now I can just go ahead and paste that in and I should be good. So that's the only change I actually need to make to this Shopify CLI app. We are ready to go. It looks like all of the dependencies are installed. So I can go yarn dev. This will actually start the app. I'm gonna choose my partner's organization, Riley Test Stuff. I do not wanna create it as a new app. I wanna select an existing app, Riley's Quiz, which is the same app I use to set up my connection in Gadget. And then I wanna select the same store. So I'm gonna select my distinguished canine demo store. And that's fantastic. So my app is up and running. You can see it is pushing my theme. 
I can also go ahead and yarn deploy. So it actually deploys a copy of my extension to my partner's app. So I'm gonna select release this new version. So Shopify actually hosts all of your extension code. You don't need to worry about hosting anything here. You just need to go through this deployment step. The reason I deployed is because this generates a theme extension ID in a .env file at the root level of your app. I need to go ahead and copy this, go back to my forked app. And if I go into settings, environment variables, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that ID in the public Shopify theme extension ID environment variable. So that is great. So if I flip back here, Erev deployed, uh, my development version is running. I'm just gonna go back to my admin app. I am gonna refresh this. And now if I go to install, uh, I'm gonna copy this quiz ID first, go to install. I'm gonna select my live Dawn theme and there is a preview and theme button I can click. And fantastic, so that automatically added this quiz section for me. I didn't have to do anything. So you see there's no quiz slug check settings. So in the settings off to the right here, that's where I paste that quiz ID that was generated when I created my quiz. You can see it automatically updated here. So I can go ahead and just save that. And which sweater is best for my dog is now visible on this store. If I don't want my quiz here, I can remove it, change it, put it on a different page. Uh, let's go test this out now. So if I actually go back to my store, this is my sample. My quiz is now here embedded on the homepage of my store. So I can go ahead and fill it out. My dog is long. My dog does not like to get into the festive spirit. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email, click get my results. And I have been recommended the party animal and the gentleman. So this is a functioning quiz in my store. That's fantastic. I can click check it out, which brings me to the product page. If I go ahead and check my gadget app once again, the quiz results and suggestions that were made to the shopper have all been recorded so I can do follow-up marketing. So I can see emails of the people who have taken the quiz and what products they were suggested. So that is good for a follow-up action. So that's a basic overview of getting a quiz template set up, walking through our tutorial. I'm gonna do a brief walkthrough of the actual quiz template next. This is just gonna be a brief walkthrough of Gadget's product quiz template. I've already gone ahead and forked the template. So I'm here on the home page. Like all Gadget templates, I can click this view architecture button here, which brings me to my docs. And there are two important docs pages. There's template architecture and template setup. Template architecture walks through things like data models, interesting API actions, access control, friend and files to highlight. It's not gonna cover every single file in the app, but it will give a brief overview of the important ones and the ones that you as a developer might be interested in looking at or extending. Template setup is the other file, and this just comes with some setup instructions. So for the product quiz, we do have a full tutorial you can go to. Otherwise, the two steps are connecting to Shopify and then actually embedding your quiz in the storefront. If I flip back to the quiz, the Shopify connection has been set up for us. So we use product and product image data models to actually generate the quiz itself. We also have Shopify theme and asset models, and these are used to detect whether or not a theme is on online store version one or two, because the installation instructions will differ depending on what version the theme is running. We do have some custom code, but not a lot in our actions. So the Shopify shop install action does automatically run a sync when this app is installed on a shop. In the quiz model, we actually have some custom code in the delete action. And this is a cascading delete so that when you delete a quiz from the admin or a merchant deletes a quiz from the admin, 
underlying questions, answers, recommended products, those are also all removed from the database. So that is what that code is doing. So delete actions for all of those models also contain similar code. The interesting part about the quiz template is in the front end folder. This is where the most of the custom code lives. So in pages, there is a home page with create and edit quiz pages. These make use of the use action form hook. We do have a lot of documentation and a whole other video on using use action form. So I'm not gonna go into it right now, but the short version is that it's great because it handles all of your form state for you and helps submit your form by calling this api.quiz.update action for you. Inside components, so there is a quiz form which contains things like answers, um, use, makes use of the page template, etc. The other big piece to the front end app is the installation tab. So this does have instructions for installing your app, whether you're on online vo store version one or two, depending on the theme. Store one instructions do import files from the assets folder. So this is actually code samples that are presented to merchants so they know what code they have to manually copy and paste into the store admin. One more thing to get into uh, very quickly is just access control. So because shoppers uh, on the storefront are unauthenticated, they do have access to the Shopify product model as well as all of the required quiz models. They get read access to those models. You'll also notice they can create shopper suggestions and quiz results, and that's because we need to capture their email. So when they fill out a quiz, enter their email, press submit, all of that information is captured in the database. That was just a quick overview of our quiz template. If you have any questions, reach out on our developer Discord or check out our product quiz tutorial. Until next time, I hope you keep building more and coding less with Gadget.